Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we make custom engineered flooring vents with stainless steel backing. Now as part of the prototyping process, we got to optimize our settings for a router and in this case also our CNC plasma. What it is is engineered flooring. It's a little bit more than a uh, half inch thick. It's really, really solid and strong. And the backing to that is stainless steel, roughly 1 16th inch. Now the reason why this needs a backing is not because of this one, it's a prototype. Uh, the actual product will be a lot bigger than this and therefore just to make sure people don't walk on the floor and go through the floor because the vent is a lot bigger, you need a stainless steel backing for it. Now the first step of doing this job after the designing process was done of course, was to use our CNC router to cut it out. Now you'll notice that I have two tapes here. Here is a 1 8 and here is a 1 quarter inch. Now if you notice over here, it's a little bit more square than over here. Now the reason for that is because here I used a 1 8 bit uh, to do a secondary pass after I used a quarter inch to do all the holes. The reason for that is because the spec calls for actually square corners but you can't do square corners using a round bit. So one way around that issue is actually use smaller and smaller bits. Now technically yeah, I could use a 1 16th or 1 32nd bit, uh, but it's just gonna break and it just doesn't work for this. So the smallest bit I could really use for this project here is a 1 8th bit. Once this project was all finished, it's time to move over to the plasma cutter. And what the plasma cutter does, it cuts metal really, really well. In this case here, the backing is exactly the same design as the front. And to give you an idea, again, it's a floor vent, but I guess it would be a ceiling vent or any other kind of vent. You just wouldn't really need the backing for it, uh, for those applications. So it's made to lay flat on the floor. And if somebody walks right in the center of it, you don't have an issue of them falling through. Now again, this is just a prototype, the actual model will be a lot bigger and that's where this actually becomes very necessary. Now the nice thing about having a plasma cutter is we could actually cut this out in any thickness. So let's say for instance uh, the customer had something like this and it was 5 feet by 10 feet. Um, this definitely would not be thick enough to support the wood. Then you'd probably go into you know maybe a quarter inch or even half inch steel. I don't know. Depending on what the architect comes up with I guess. So after the plasma cutting is done, the next step of course is cleaning up and just checking the overall prototype.
So you have to remember, this will never be seen by the customer. Uh, the spec called for probably mild steel, and, and I said, well, the customer would never see it, so it doesn't really matter. But we've had projects before where uh, we try to, the customer tries to save a bit of money going with mild steel instead of using stainless steel, and they end up having, having corrosion issues. Now, you know, where we live here, it's not that much of an issue. Uh, we're not next to a salt lake, but something you have to consider is public pools. Uh, the bromine and all that, those chemicals, the chlorine, if it gets onto this, it actually starts uh, corroding pretty quickly if it's mild steel. Stainless steel is a lot better, and of course 316 stainless steel is even better than the 304 I used here. Now you can see the final result. You don't even see the stainless steel. The grail looks just amazing, considering it's made with a router. And you have the strength of a very thin sheet of stainless steel over the half inch engineered wood flooring. So you're looking for a custom vents, they can be any size, any shape, any number of holes, any you know, diameter of the holes, whatever you can think of. We can cut it out for you and ship it right to your door.